Good afternoon. Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? Hi. My I name is said, Robert. who are you? I don't care about your name. What are you doing in my house? Are you lost? Who are you here to see? Are you dumb? Can't you talk? What are you doing here? Annie, baby, you're finally back. I thought you had forgotten about us. Docus, what is this Reef Raff doing in my house? What does she want? No need for any name calling. This is love it. She's a cosmet. She's having an accommodation issue, so I ask her to come stay with us. Wow. God, without... You didn't deem it necessary to let me know before taking such decision. Why? Because I let you stay, regardless of the fact that we're not of the same status. Is that it? Suddenly, my house has turned to the place for the homeless. Annabelle, why are you always talking about this category stuff? Yes, I know you are rich and poor. But you don't have to be so mean. I called you several times, but you were not picking any of our calls. I have to remind you. I'm stating the obvious, so I have to remind you so you can know your boundaries in this place. We, I, I, I didn't say anything wrong, or I didn't say anything untrue. You are poor. That's just the truth. Please, you should know your boundaries. I don't want her here. I do not want her here. Please. I don't want to cause any issues between you and your friends. Um, Dockers, thank you. I will just go and look for someone else. Brilliant. You should leave now. Look who we have here. Look at my beautiful friend. The fairest of them all. The most beautiful. Can you look in pain? You're looking hot. You're looking sweet. So what's up, Mama? Okay, so you're in this house and you let this happen? As a matter of fact, I told them that you are not going to find this funny, didn't I? Dockers, Robert, didn't I? I said my friend wasn't going to find this funny, right? Right? I told them, but they did nothing about it. So why didn't you push that she leaves? Why didn't you even call me? Can I please have a word with you on the side? I don't want her here. Can you just come first? You see this girl there? She is a bookworm. She's very intelligent. So having her stay here, we have advantage. You see all those are coursework and assignments that we can do? She's going to help us out. As a matter of fact, no more carryovers, no more delays of submitting assignments. What do you think about it? Are you sure? Very sure. Oh well, <clears throat> my mom is a renowned philanthropist and as such, I should take inner steps, right? Uh, yes. I'll let you stay. Hey, I don't want you loitering around the house. I don't want you invading my privacy. I don't want you in my space. I need you to know your boundaries. Do I make myself clear? Thank you very much. Yes, yes, I, I will stay on my way. <laughs> I, I will stay out of your way. Thank you so much. I am grateful. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Promise. Thank you. Oh. Bye. Madam, why are you still frowning? I just said she can stay. I don't like it when you make a mountain out of a small issue. Small thing, you start shouting. I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. Can I get a hug? Mm -mm. <laughs> Save it. Remember, Doc, as I told you, always use my lemon to clear your throat. Your voice is coarse. I need you to remember that. Right? right? My box, please. I'm getting it. Shh. Hey, shh. Shh. Hello. What are you looking at? Haven't you seen a fine girl before? Huh? More players, please. So, Annabelle, welcome back home. My box. I'm coming. This is going to be really heavy. Oh, shh, shh. 
What's her name? Um, Lovett. Hey, Lovett. Huh? Come help me with this. Sure. Help me. What was she, was she, why are you acting so confused? So help me. There, down there, yeah. <laughs> careful. I said careful. Sorry. Let's go. Annabelle, good to have you back! <laughs> See, Sorry, if you break anything in this bag, if you... <laughs> well, this bag is loaded! I know I'm going to get stamps from here. Then concentrate. Sure. Annie! I'm almost there! What? Don't break anything here. What are you doing here? And um, what's that? Were you sent to kill me? What? No. No, I I only brought you breakfast and I've been knocking you. You didn't answer, so I decided to let myself in. Wait, you decided to let yourself in without my consent? You feel it's nice to barge into my room? No, I I, I was knocking. I knocked. And did I tell you to come in? Did I? I told you from the very onset that you shouldn't overstep your boundaries and you're doing it. Don't test me, you. Do not. Um, take this rubbish away. I, I just brought breakfast for you. I said you should take it out. I'm not hungry. I never asked for this shit. Take it out! Sorry. Take it away! Sorry. Do you sense? Sorry. Don't you ever badge into my room like that? Miss Krantz. Yeah, I've heard you. Okay, sir. Thanks. I've tried talking to him, but he's still asking for what I can't afford. You see that, Mr. Peter? I despise him so much. With that, his big stomach and flat bum bum. And that is ancient of these glasses that he will never change after getting money from students. That's how they will milk everybody of the little opportunity that they have. Especially you that your mother is rich and influential. They will not rest every time they want to be on your case. Well, I don't care. I'm not giving him a penny. I won't give him anything. He can fail me for all he wants. No, don't say that now. I don't care. I don't. That's how you misbehave him. Hello, baby. How are you? Are you okay? What's wrong? Oh, how much is it? A hundred and fifty thousand naira and you're sounding that way. <clears throat> Come on. I'll do you a transfer right away, okay? It's okay, calm down. I love you too. <clears throat> bye bye. I'm sure that was Kingsley, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> His sister is sick and he needs a hundred and fifty thousand naira for her medicine. A hundred and fifty thousand naira? Mm, yep. Yeah. And you're going to give him that? Uh, yes, I know. <laughs> I know you're going to give him that. <laughs> Besides, it's long I last set my eyes on him. So when is he coming around again? Did I say anything bad? Uh, okay, I'm sorry now. I didn't... I didn't... Oh, yeah, take you. Yeah. Take now, I'm sorry. Why are you looking at it like that? I don't think you cut it properly. Here, take it. I did now. Okay. Here. Yeah. <laughs> That's more like it. Are you for real? <laughs> Well, you shouldn't be taking such from people like that, honestly. Sometimes I just try to act like you, know? <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Oh, are you guys going out? No. We're going to the toilet. Are your eyes so tiny that you can't see the obvious? That we're dressed to go out. Are you guys going out? 
Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to annoy you. I'm only asking because I thought we had to study together for tomorrow's test. And who said that we forgot about the test? <laughs> huh? <laughs> that's why you're here, right? To read. And that's what you're doing. So read for three. We're all counted on you. Um, I don't understand what you mean, read for three. I mean, how does my reading alone going to help you with your own test? Don't worry, darling. With time, you will understand. Right now, read up. Read to understand. Okay? We're counting on you again. Yeah. For three, with emphasis, read for three. Okay, Pokemon tell me tomorrow what I read it just for two persons of myself. Here. For three, okay? Don't worry, Ash. All I've shown him is, is love. I've cherished him. I've given him I've given him everything he has ever asked for and more. So why? Why would he choose to repay me with a heartbreak? That, that idiot, that ingrate, did this to you. Why would Kisley do this to me? God, God will punish him after eating all, all your money. What kind of nonsense is this now? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Annabelle, I don't know if this is the right time for me to say this, but I have to say the truth. I don't think you deserve all of this. I mean, all this relationship stress is not what you need. You have more than enough books to read. Focus on your studies. I know your mom has money, but just put yourself in my shoe or others out there which we don't have the opportunity. Stop wasting... Madam, keep quiet. Which shoes? She should put herself in this kind of your shoes. Are you okay? Eh? Huh? What's wrong with you? Uh, someone is here grieving. Is this how, uh, how to console someone? You're, you're busy grabbing nonsense from your mouth. Yeah, hold it. Don't say anything. Kisley, why me? Sorry. Sorry for yourself. I really leave me, Kisley. This is no good. It's okay. Cry it out, baby. Cry it out. I just want to go home. I just want to go, go home. home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Sorry. Oh, someone is grieving your, 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 your dear advice in nonsense. Are you, are you fine? I'm not. How can I be Sorry, fine? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Trust me. Let me, let, let me Just let me. get into the car. Get I'm in. you think you're going? You. To school. Okay. Hmm. And please, can I just tag along with you? I'm really late. I have lectures this morning. Did I hear you correctly? Tag where? In whose car? The same car that you said I used in chasing men and winning them over. Isn't, isn't it what you said last night? Annabel, I'm sorry about yesterday. Please. Uh -huh. I, I just want to You don't want you. to do I'm anything. I don't know. I don't know what you want to do and I don't even want to know. Okay? I want you to trek. 
Your focus is not on men, right? So trek to school. Ah, ah now, Annabelle. She already said she's sorry. Do you want her to trek to school? She's already late. Oh. <laughs> and you're sad about it. If you're so sad about it, why don't you give her your spot in the car? Mm-hmm. Let her get in the car while you trek to school. You can walk to school. It's not a problem. Please don't even enter my car. You can walk to school. You have legs. Ephraim, open the gates, please. Get in. Lovet, right? That's your name. And how did you know my name? Well, if you were interacting with your cosmates, you know that I'm your cosmate. My name is Samuel. Well, they call me Sammy around here. Oh. Yes. Hi, Sammy. It's my pleasure. So, um, where are you going? Well, I'm off to school. Okay, let me drop you then. Ah, don't, don't mind. I'm, I'm really close to school now. I just head on. Lovet, we have a test in 10 minutes, all right? And you don't want to be late. So do I. So let's go. Thank you. What does it look like? This thing where they inside here now. Now small picking food. I've been on my food with this. Say, I don't get time for you. If as you see this food, you don't like them or you don't want to chop them, just give the food flags back to me. Forget about food today. Hmm. You hear me? Hey, Philo, yeah, let me tell you something. You are trying me in this compound now. Hey, 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 you they try me, oh. Ha! See, may I tell you something, eh? If does that be your husband, no more reason, I'm. If does it me, now your husband, you go put this kind of food down and go serve me. Hey, stop that nonsense. What are you talking about? Which kind of nonsense husband you announce? As you see me so, as a fool like this, I don't see anything do again. Now, to marry you. No, what's you gonna make me, Philomena, marry somebody where they like you? Person went to like no risk ground. As in, I forget. I don't even know. What is going to make me, self, even come they think of even marrying somebody like you, self? That mistake I do now, go forbid. But you see, Philo, eh? Time don't reach me and you and Madame Gosidon talk this matter. I tell you, time don't reach me and you and Madame Gosidon talk this matter. Because Nami, they do all the whole hard work who went there for this compound. Nami, they look after you now. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to look after you. E e easy. Somebody. With my condition, I'm gonna work out, I'm not gonna sleep for night. When I'm gonna sleep, they snore. Then you go stand up when you want to serve me food. You go reach time to give me food. You can't get sense. Your sense just end for a weird pot of soup day. I can tell you, not me do you. I don't know why you are complaining bitterly about the food. I don't say they envy me. 
for my position as the cook. If say as today here is no good for you again and you won't change position, go meet madam. Tell and say, as you employ me get man, I no one do me again. I won't enter kitchen become cook. Uh -huh. The madam go consider. Maybe allow you to enter kitchen so that you go to chop as you please you. Eh? But for you to come as I bring food to you and you you be talking nonsense, you go stop. Oh. If you want to enter kitchen, kitchen, enter kitchen. Go begin chop anyhow. Jealousy, jealousy, Mrs. Look at me. I don't care what you want. Don't stop me. They look me for face. They talk this thing. I don't blame you. Ha! If I blame you, I have to enter bathroom, bathroom, I don't. I don't know if you blame you. Not if you maybe blame you. Now see finish. Now go some more. Now see finish. Now go some. I don't blame you at all. If you're not hungry, give me food flask, make I go. If you don't know me, sir, hunger can't. I forget you, sir. You don't bath you now. Just use some, use some bath you now. The food why suffer cook? I go. Yeah. If this food poor, stupid boy. If you pour this food, anyway, I don't blame you. See, we still get afternoon and night food. Now, like this, you go do before you go chop up. As I bring food, you come to get open mouth, talk nonsense. Now, like this, you go do chop your afternoon and night food. Me, if you let me now, I could bring for one legged man. You know, they great food. Say they cook, they suffer, they cook, prepare, pre pre prepare food for you. No problem. No, well, stupid boy. Since like, only like this, no, well, I will do a problem. But I don't problem. Yes. No. Can you just please stop asking all these questions every time? Must you always know what I need the money for? But well, don't you think I, I I need money? I, I need money and you know this. You, you know how much I need money. No, no, I am not. Now you listen to me, young lady. I am not your ATM machine that you operate and expect cash to pop out from. No. If you cannot wait till tomorrow, then forget about it. I, tomorrow is not good. Huh? Tomorrow is not good, please. I cannot wait till tomorrow to get this money. money. Hello? Did you hear me? If you can help me just send it now, I'll, I'll be very happy. Thank you. Oh, jeez. Are you sure she's going to send this money? Rubbish. Please, Ma, you have to take it easy on her. Don't tell me to take it easy on her. Now, what have I not done for my daughter? to make her happier in life and to become responsible. But no, she sworn that she will see that all my efforts are in vain. Why? Ma, do you know Annabelle is still growing up? You just have to tolerate and never give up on her. Oh, come on, stop that. I'm not giving up on her, but she's not a baby. So she shouldn't expect me to give her anything, whatever thing she wakes up to require from me that I will give it to her. No, she's not a child. Are you, are, you, are you mad? Get out! What, 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 what will kill you is in front? Idiot! Is that guy? Is that guy? Did you see him? He's mad and he almost hits me now. I like him. That idiot, that one that is so full of himself. He, he, he almost ran me over and you said you're like, you, you like him. But nothing happened to you, right? Meanwhile, he didn't even see you. The point now is that I like him. Well, that yes. you said you, 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 you just said that guy did not see me. No, who is he? Is that, that he's one of our cosmates. He's so full of himself. He doesn't even talk to anybody. Oh, my kind of guy. <laughs> I need to talk to him. I like him so much. Have you ever heard of love at first sight? Love at first sight? Mm -hmm. This one. This is stupidness at first sight. Come on, don't speak to him like that. Or don't speak about him like that. Come, let's go. And by the way, I will get him. Annabelle, are you for that boy? Come on. Wow, nice. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Nothing happened to you, remember? No, but no, but the guy almost ran me over and you're not.
Hi. Um, can I sit? Yeah, sure. It's it's a free world. Thank you. Um, I know you don't know who I am, but my name is Annabelle and... I know who you are. So save yourself the stress. I do. You do? Yeah. But I don't know who you are. Well, that's because you don't really, you know, mingle with your cosmates. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. I don't do well with crowd myself. Yeah. So, how may I help? Um, I saw you and I felt I needed to talk to you. That's weird. In a cool kind of way, you know. Yeah, because I didn't, um, you know, see you as one that will extend the hand of friendship. At least not first. Come on, I'm that bad. I never said you're bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, looks like my attention is needed elsewhere. Oh. Yeah. All right, that's fine. It was nice meeting you, yeah. officially. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Yeah. My pleasure. Can I please have your number? Okay. Thank you. What's your name? Call me Sammy. Annabelle. That's my number. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye. Sorry, I kept you waiting. I lost track of time. Please. Are you really serious? Sorry. You're the same person that asked me for us to meet here. Now you're coming late. Sorry. Look, if you're not serious, just let, let me know so I can find someone else. Of course I'm serious now. That's why I said I'm sorry. Look, to show you how sorry I am, I brought this for you. I don't need it. Let's just get down to business. Okay. Did you come with your, with, your, no, with your notebook? I came with the one you asked me to come with. Okay, let me see this. Introduction. Okay. The woman that likes to go straight to business, I like. So this one was studying today. X Factor. Hope you've studied this before. Yeah, I think I saw it in class. In class. Do you know how to solve it? Alright. Which is why there are X passengers in a bus at the beginning of a journey. At the bus stop, four people got out of six. More people entered the bus. If the number of people left in the bus is 20, how many of them started this journey? Now let's go for the solving. Quantitative reasoning. What did I say? Quantitative reasoning. Are you sure you're getting this? Yes, of course. Focus. Focus. <laughs> so 24, 4K, Six. What's that? This is the Y factor. Oh, is that what they call it? I told you, you said you heard this in class before. <laughs> yeah, but I, I didn't really follow, you know. Okay. So we y have eighteen F, nine F, and two. Two Y. And I'll give you the Y. y. You're getting it. Okay, nice. All right. Next question. Mm. 
Hey, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How are you blushing? Why are you looking all excited? Mm -hmm. What's the update? Baby girl, what did I tell you? Okay. I told you that I will always get whatever I want. Right now, I am on the track to getting something I've always wished for. How nice. Wow. <laughs> So what is that thing that you want, that you're about to get? The question should be mm -hmm. who, not what. Mm -hmm. And he is Sammy. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. Mm. What job is Sammy's? Wait, don't even ruin my mood. How many Sammy's do we know? Sammy. Oh! Oh, 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 Sammy. Yeah, Sammy. Okay. <laughs> Annie, baby. Look, babe, you just left one heartbreaking relationship, and here you are rushing to enter into another one. Ah, uh, can you just please save it? And for the record, that's my past. Okay. My ex. This is the present and my future. So please don't even remind me of that, okay? okay? So Sammy is the future. Yes, and my present. Oh, wow. <laughs> Makes sense, makes sense. I'm so excited. Oh, wow, I am, I am excited too. <laughs> nice. Can mm. I have that? Mm. You see this one? There is jello fries and there is jello fries. Mm. Okay. Oh, looks nice. I mean, just have a taste of it. Mmm. One more. It really tastes nice. I don't know. What should I have more in the kitchen? There's still more there, but Docas hasn't eaten. You mm. it. Not really. It's love that made it. Why? Okay. What happened? I'm not hungry. Don't have appetite. A taste of chemical doesn't taste nice. This rice taste of chemical. I actually need water. Okay. Nice. You should warn me next time, please. It's so disgusting. I'll, I'll warn you next time. It is really disgusting. Mm, this one. <laughs> okay, next time I'll warn you, okay? Mm. You're not hungry yet. Ma, please, how can I help you? Uh, is my daughter Rain? Oh, you must be Annabelle's mom. You're welcome, Ma. Just sit, let me get you something to drink. Oh, no, no, no. I just popped in to check on my daughter because I've been calling her line and she wouldn't pick up. So oh. is she Rain? Um, no, Ma, you just, you missed her. All right, do you buy... Any chance know where she went? Mm. Or oh. did she go on one of her frivolous outings? Um, mm. Ma, no, she she went. Um, no, li she went library. She went to the library. We we have a test tomorrow, so she went to prepare ahead of it. Yes, school library. <laughs> Poor ten. Come on, you didn't have to lie to just cover her up. I know my daughter too well more than anyone in the world. Believe me, she doesn't like reading. Even if she's highly paid to do so, she wouldn't do that. 
Never mind. Let her know that I stopped by. Tell her to call me. Sure, ma. Sure. I'll, I'll let her know. I will. Thank you. All right. Girl we met inside. I mean, uh, I met her and I had the strangest feeling. It feels like I have the strong connection with her, just that I don't know how and I, I can't remember where, you know. Well, I think I have an explanation for that. You do? Yes, well, Ma, you know, it's no news you've um, met and helped a lot of people, both far and near. Maybe this young lady is um, a benefactor of one of your numerous outreaches. You think so? <laughs> I mean, that's, that's just my own theory. Consistent, you have nothing to do about it. But I think if you put extra work, yeah, that's the truth. I think I'm going to consider <coughs> after after everything. I'm just going to have a milk bath. Okay, you'll be seeing my skin like to be popping, honestly. It'll be popping. <laughs> Is anyone hungry? No. You should go and rest. No one is hungry. Sorry. Uh -huh. That reminds me. Annabelle, your, your mom was here. She said she's been calling you, but you're not taking your call, so she came looking for you. You mean my mom was here? Yes. And you're just telling me, what didn't you tell me since? How stupid can you be? What did you tell her about me? Start talking. I, I hope you did not tell her I went to the party. No, no. I, I even had to lie to her. I told her you are at the library reading. Though she didn't believe me. Yes. Your brain, the only thing your brain can carry is just books. You told her you, you won't lie and she did not believe you. You don't even know how to lie. The only thing you can do is carry books. Are you not eating? Hey, I didn't, I didn't see you coming. Okay, why are you, why are you worrying? 
that face? Why are you wearing a gloomy face? What's, what's happening? You've not been taking my calls. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I, <clears throat> I've been studying. You know, and I have a study partner who is very strict on, on our schedule. Most times when I'm studying, I don't take calls. Sorry. So are you free now? Don't you read? Like, are you not preparing for exams? What's, what's, what's going on? Are you one of those that buy their ways through? What, what's that supposed to mean? Come on, it's obvious now you're from a very rich home. So I'm asking if you're one of those that will grease the palms of lecturers for good grades in return. Now take it back. Is that what you really think of me? Like, you think I go through the easy way? You don't even know anything about me and I'm not here to sit and explain myself to you. Go to hell. I blame it on life. I mean, why would life lay perfection on such an unserious human being like Annabelle? She has everything. It's not like I'm envious of her. All I want is just to have a better life. I wish I can just live just a day in her shoe. even take her shower before sleeping again. 
I think you are in the right position to talk to Annabelle. For her to misuse every opportunity given to her is quite unacceptable. She's a student just like we are. And this will hamper the success of her academics. Dorcas. Dorcas. Even if I was told in my dream that you would turn out to be the black sheep amongst the white. Girl, I will argue. I will say no. Look at you. How can you envisage such bad wishes for Annabelle? Annabelle, oh. Annabelle. This is someone who virtually carried your cross, paid all your expenses while you were busy lurching around looking for where to sleep or to lay your head. Mm. This girl stood in for you. Well, I'm not surprised. I'm not. There is nothing that you would do for ungrateful people that will always remain ungrateful. No matter how, how far you go. Ungrateful person is always an ungrateful person. Okay, I know you. It is an impossibility for you to talk to Annabelle because of what you stand to gain. When you nod a yes and applaud in all her decisions. But this will not give us a perfect ending. If she becomes addicted, please move. Mm -hmm. I'll just let that slide. I don't know. Um, I don't know, but I believe she knows the kind of child that she gave birth to. What are you rather suggesting? If we lie, she's going to catch us. Let's just tell her something she's going to believe. Like what? Yes. Good afternoon, Ma. Where is my daughter? Ma, she's having a preparatory class against the test tomorrow. Yes, Ma. And you want me to believe that? Yes, sir. Let's go. Annabelle, where were you yesterday? You left the house without a word to anyone and then you returned drunk. Listen, I'm no longer a kid, okay? So you I need you to understand it. Besides, you know how much I solely hate anything that detests me. Please, I'm not ready for this this morning. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That idiot. That fool. Ah, God, he thinks I'm one of... I'm one of those girls that he can ridicule and get away with it. Well, I put him in a place that he deservedly belongs. Who are you even talking about? I hope you're not talking about that idiot that almost hit me with his car the other day. That's Sammy. Yes, that idiot. He's the one. Can you imagine the, the emp saying that uh, I'm a lazy student? But come to think of it, all because I don't open my books to read doesn't make me unserious. I have my way around. Am I not serious? You're the most serious person I've seen on earth. Thank you. Why would you even say that? I mean, I am talented personified. I'm, I'm everything. I'm, I'm pretty intelligent. I'm more intelligent than you. Mm. What? what do you want to have for breakfast? I said I am more intelligent than you are. Yes or no? Okay, I thought she wanted to argue. <laughs> That's 
Okay, okay, these are some key points which you have to note. X minus X is zero. X plus X is two X. Hold on, hold on. X minus X is zero. zero. So when there is X, you now minus X, it will now give you zero. Yes. Right? And X plus X, two X. X plus X. But X is not a um, number now, it's an alphabet. So there how is a one in front of every X you see. The one is invisible, you can't see the one, but there is a one there. Wait, so there is a one before every X, right? Yes. Who puts the one there? Because if I did not put, somebody did not put one there and you write X, how did now, did the a one now invisibly go and stay in that place? That's a mathematical formula. We study and learn. Okay, so anytime I see X, I should just assume there is a one there. Exactly. Good. You're getting it. Let's go. <laughs> I also know that positive and negative. A negative is superior to the positive. Everywhere you see positive and negative, always make sure you put negative. Like positive one plus negative two. Your answer must be in the negative formula. I lie. You know, that one cannot work. How can you put plus, minus, you will plus something and minus. Okay, if I give you two pen now, for example, right? You now, it's two, right? You now minus one. It's you now go and give you two. Minus two. If I minus two is zero. It's not zero. See, I beg you, they confuse me, I beg you. Okay, see, see, you know what? Just do it for me. Let me just go and submit it. I don't want to know how. How will you learn? I, see, I don't want to. The man will not ask me question when I submit it, right? He'll ask you, of course. He will not ask me. They've, they've never asked questions. So just write it for me. Let me submit it. I don't so have your own personal notes. You don't want to. I don't want to get it. It's time to party. Hey. It's time to party. Hey. 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 It's time to party. <laughs> Babe, you look hot. Really? You look sexy. <laughs> you look creamy. Thank you. And then you're shiny. Thank you, darling. That's the assignment. Thank you. So should I go and get set? So I will go with you to the party. <laughs> Say yes now. Rest in the name of the Lord. Come on. You can't be coming with me every day. Today is for me, all right? I don't want you coming with me. Who knows? You might even snatch any man that comes my way. Oh, yes, true. Don't look at me like that. You're not a saint. So I want you to rest. You mustn't be walking around following me every time. You're not this handbag. Get my handbag, all right? So rest. Sit down. She's trying to teach you. Learn. Learn. Come on. Learn. Oh, I gotta go. Oh, um, my assignments, as usual, chop, chop, chop. Take care, darling. Oh, girls, just wanna have fun. Bye, girls. Okay, so. <laughs> Please, I beg. So, what? X did what? I don't want to learn. I don't want to learn. Uh uh. What you is your exam, so is it your name that they write there? If I fail, say it's my failure, let me fail now. I, at least get the X plus X. I don't want every time don't X, want. X raised to the power of two is seven. It's not seven, no, it's one. Watch your step. Yes, I know what I'm doing. I know. You watch your step. Don't, don't, don't puke. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> You're doing fine. Mm -hmm, I know that. You're doing really <laughs> fine. Yeah. Watch your step. Oh, one more, one more step. Okay, fine. Fine, yeah. I got it. <laughs> Hey. Oh, easy, Sorry. easy. Just relax here. Here. Oh my god. 
Oh. Yeah, um, I had to bring her home. I couldn't imagine her driving in this state, so we left her car at the bar and I brought her home in my own car. <laughs> sorry, sorry. What are you saying? Sorry, sorry to me or, or she? Thank you, Sammy. I, I appreciate it. I'll just take you from here. Just take her All upstairs. Right. Um, Easy now. Oh, all right. Good night. Good night. Come back here. Can I take you upstairs? I had fun. <laughs> oh, let me be. Annabelle, let's go to bed now. I'm tired, please. We, remember, we have a test tomorrow. Let's go. Now you can leave me from here. Careful, careful. When are you going to stop drinking? Look, Annabelle, if you ask me, I'll tell you the truth. Huh? I think this club thing is getting out of hand. You should curtail it a little now. You're obviously doing it and it's not nice. Look, you're not helping matters here. Uh -uh. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean it that way. I'm just... I'm sorry. You better be. So, are you not going for lectures today? Oh well, about that, forget about me. There's a way I live my life. Everything is planned and everything is under control. I don't want to subject myself to the slavery that comes with school stress, no. But everything is under control. Don't worry about me, you can go. <laughs> no more. Uh, I don't even understand one thing where this lecture I talk. <laughs> like uh, the thing just the You know they pay attention now. Uh. My head don't block. <laughs> <laughs> nah, well, give us a drink. Beer. Hi. Hello. The last time I checked, I thought we were not in talking terms. <laughs> Don't think otherwise, Sammy. Hey, um, can I have Fearless and Gala? Well, I only came to say thank you for helping me last night. Did you hear what I said? Of course I heard you. I'm not deaf. So what's your response to what's that? What's my response? How? Your thanks means nothing to me. Okay, when I know you will go back to that mess I saw yesterday. Your gratitude means absolutely nothing. And to add to that, do not endanger your life in the name of enjoyment. You should better think, rethink and know why you're here. How much do I owe you? Look at that, I was threading you. 
c'est ton fils Peppa. Ton fils Peppa. Son père, c'est mon père, mais nous a dit. Pour moi, un fils, tu pousses qu'on fait la pousse, qu'on fait la petite musique. Pour dire que ton fils, tu fais juste pour lui. Hey! Annabelle! Annabelle, are you okay? Please, I'm not ready for your talks now. That ingrate in there just ruined my day. And I need to just clear my head. So, what are you going to do now? No, for your information, everyone, if you want to come with me, fine, but I'm not going straight home. I have to go somewhere and clear my head. Who is in or out? So you two had the audacity to lie to me. You told me she went for preparatory class, isn't it? For how long? I'm asking you. Take a look at the time. Twelve. Midnight. And she hasn't returned from the preparatory class. You're not talking anymore. Ma. Cut. Cut your tongues, right? <laughs> it's so funny. I just was. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we now? <laughs> no, that wasn't. This doesn't look like home. Oh. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It's so funny. It's so funny. Oh my god, I need more drink. I need more drink. Where are you, Oka? Oka, is that you? I need drink. Um, who is this? Oh, I know you. I know you. Love it. Is she is she the lady that that teaches psychology or I don't know, I think there's this course. In school. Teachers are not helping matters at all. <laughs> you in particular. I mean, how could you be so heartless to accompany her out? <laughs> you got her drunk and you call yourself her friend. <sighs> really? Not nice. <laughs> not nice. Not nice. Not nice. <laughs> Bed. This is my bed. Just leave it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. This is bed. Are you okay? Let's, let's go inside. It's okay. Let's go. Let me help you go inside. No, 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 no. My head is done. It's okay. I'm Come. not in the right place. No, let, let, me, let me take you. Wait, wait, wait. You should be mad. Where am I? No, 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 no. I'm in the wrong place. I'm, I'm, I'm in the wrong place. Where did you bring me to? Take me home. Take me home. Take me home. I don't know anybody here. I don't know. Help! Help! This is not home. This is not home. This is not home. Take me home now. Take me home. Take me home. Take me home. Take me home. The handwriting on the wall is acceptable enough. I think first thing tomorrow, we 
on and leaving this house and we all wanted it. Leaving which house? What exactly are you saying, Dorcas? None among the three of us forced Annabelle to become an addict. And you think her mother would be kind enough to allow us to continue living under this roof when we have friends are not helpful? You must be kidding. Look, Annabelle is very self-centered. We all know that. Okay? There is no possibility of making her see the damages our serious disposition will cause her in the future. I disagree with you, Oka. In this particular case, it is a game of full chance for you. You are Annabelle's servant. You walk closer to her more than any of us. You could make her do better, but no. Look, Dorcas, I would take any other thing from you, but you categorically pointing fingers that I am gaining favors from Annabelle that you are not gaining. What's the meaning of that? Are we not Annabelle's friends? So tell me that thing that I'm gaining, that you are not doing. Please, please. Can you just stop? Stop. No, no, let me tell her now. Let me tell her. What is that particular thing that I'm gaining that you're not gaining? Why are you hell bent on making me look like the bad person? Okay, it's okay. It's okay, Dorcas. It's it's fine. Let's not lay blames at this point, please. But that's what she's doing already. Can I talk? Look, Dorcas. Uka. We all have benefited from Annabelle. I know she has her shortcomings, but then she has been so kind to us. In fact, we are living in our own house. We need to look for a way forward. The issue is who and where do we go to? Good morning, mommy. How are you? Now you listen to me. And listen very attentively. Heaven bears me witness that I have tried everything possible to give you a promising future. But you have decided to besmirch my reputation by becoming useless in the school. Hey, now before you do that, I have decided to stop. I repeat, I have decided to stop sponsoring your education. Hey, don't think I'm kidding. I mean every word to the last letter. What? Hey, there is absolutely no need for your pretense. All I need you to do right now is go in there. Pick everything that belongs to you while leaving. Um, leave. I need a private moment with my mom. Leave. Go. And what are you still doing here? I said, leave, shoo, go. I need to talk to my mom. She's not going anywhere. Hey. Go up now. Pick everything that belongs to her and break it down. Okay, mom. I have never failed you in life. And I will not allow you to fail me. Ask my daughter. I will never. Come on, this is embarrassing. If you water a word. What happened to Madame Piquet? No, carry this your left leg, go sit down. They find what's happened, Madame. Well, oh, away. sorry. I, I, I forgot to you know where. Okay. 
Mom, what am I doing at home? When I'm supposed to be in school studying. What, Mom? Oh, you want to be in school studying? Yes, please. You will not step your foot in that school till you have changed completely. If you don't want to change, then forget about schooling. Mom, is there any other thing? If it's about school? Cancel. Mom, I'm, I'm missing a lot of tests. I'm missing a lot. sent for me. Yes, I did. Mirabel, I know who you truly are. You're just a PA, not an advisor. You're a PA that just advises my mom and supports her in her company and not her family. Mirabel, I'm a professional in my job. And I know the ethics entailed in it. Will you shut up? Shut it, Mirabel! I know who you are. It was your advice that amounted my mother to bringing me back to this house. All because of you. And right now you have to reverse it. And I want it today. Annabelle, for Christ's sake, I had no say in whatever decision your mom took. So please. Chronic liar. That's who you are. Listen, do not test my temperament, else I will make here a living hell for you. Don't test me. Do it today, right now. Excuse me, please. Get out. Today, Mirabel, today. Until you shift now. Shift. Uh-uh. Give me space, let me breathe. It is time you stop calling me auntie. What is all this? I should stop calling you auntie. You should be grateful that I'm even tagging you as an auntie. You should be tagged, mama. I bet, call her. Shift, come out for road mask, not the one that is doing me. What is it now? Chief, come out! As always, eh? this is the problem I have. She's she left here. Her phone will be ringing and she's not taking calls. I think the phone should be with her mom. Yes, she has a point. So then, what are we going to do now? There is nothing to do other than paying her a visit and talking some sense into her. Look at how you are making emphasis, some sense into her. If you want to give me a point, say it brightly. Say it well. You don't have to lay emphasis by doing that. Besides, I doubt if her mom will even let us in the house. Anyway, I love what Annabelle's mom did. She need to be handled in a way that will make her go back to her right senses. Yes. Douglas, you have a point. I mean, I support you 100% on this. Annabelle needs to be taught some sense. This whole thing was getting out of hands. I mean, it was way too much. Skipping classes, keeping late night, smoking, uh, drinking to stupor, all those crazy things. I don't know how she's able to, to, to do that. I mean, indulging in all these irrelevances was just an, in, in, totally inimical to her academic performances. So I am really happy. I am happy. You can sigh for all you want. I have said it and it's the truth. Go ahead and talk. No, just talk. That's all you want to do. You're a very bad friend, you know that, right? You're a good friend, right? You can't speak the truth when you you're, you're supposed friend, to. Right? You're a good friend. Be, yeah. Every time you're supporting nonsense, you can't help your friend. You can't help your friend. You can't help your friend.
Mrs. Philomena Yang, calm down now. Calm down. Okay. My mother is not around. She's not here. I just want to go out. What else am I asking for? Am I killing anybody? I just want to go out. Mm? We can make full changes. You know how we can do it now. Eh? No, mm. but you can't. Hmm? You can't. You can't go out. We are not the only ones your mom assigned this duty to. What if people see you out there? It would definitely land all of us in big problems. <gasps> Calm down now. Calm down. I'm a girl like you. You're doing this to your fellow girl. Leave that one for me. I'm going to take care of it all. Okay? I'll take care of it. You don't need to worry. All I want both of you to do now is just to stand by me. Just to stand by me. And then leave everything for me. Yeah? Yeah? Hmm. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to give you people money. Ouch. I'll give you people money. I'm going to give you people 50,000 50, naira. 50, 50k each. 50k each. Everybody. You people. It's not okay. Okay, 70k. Eh? Mrs. Inyang, 70k. Mirabel, you don't. 100,000 naira. 100k. 100,000 naira. 100,000 naira. Okay, 300. 300k. Please just let me go out. 300,000. You don't know. Annabelle. Want. Annabelle, mm -hmm. we are sorry. Mm. We're just sorry. Okay. As it did now, eh, no amount of money where you go give us will make us to disobey your mother's instructions. Oh, eh? She don't tell us, say, make we not allow you to come out this gate. Okay. And I saw you go take day. Okay. I never disobey your mama before. Okay. I don't come disobey him now again. Now.